I can put you on, can play for my team Girl, you got what I need Us always hey. Look, we was doing good, now we doing better This love I got for you too much, I can't measure New cars, new crib, we look good together It's us always, but I'm thinking that's forever Girl, you got what I need Racing for your love, I'm going high speed I can put you on, can play for my team Once you get a taste, you tell me don't leave After all this time and money that I spent with you I was still going place the highest bid with you Girl, you're perfect, I'ma have my first kid with you If it's up, then it's stuck, I'ma live with you yeah. As y'all can see, we are literally sitting on no mattress. We're bedless. Yes, but the reason being is because we finally got our Helix package. Yay! So one thing that we have been battling is literally having good sleep. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this for you guys. In order for you guys to see what mattress is right for you, you have to take the quiz based on what you respond with and it'll match you up with like the perfect mattress for you. The mattress comes rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set up. Helix Sleeps provides premium mattresses customized to fit your needs and also ships to your door. Alright guys, so now that the mattress is finally up and ready, let me just tell you, this mattress is so freaking comfy. So we were actually matched with the Helix Sunset. The Helix Sunset is actually the most softest memory foam mattress that they do have and it's rated on a 2 to 3 firmness scale. This bed Freaking is, comfy. This bed is extremely comfortable. It's actually really comfy. I am shook. The cool thing about Helix is that it actually ships to your door for free throughout the whole United States. So what we actually love in a mattress, guys, is a soft mattress that doesn't hit our pressure points. You know, like uh, sometimes... Just, it's like sleeping on a... Like a cloud. It's like sleeping on a cloud. But guys. still firm enough. One thing about me, guys, is when I'm laying down, I'm a really bad, like, side sleeper. So it'll start hurting, like, my hips and then, like, my shoulder area. So this mattress actually allows me to sleep comfortable with not getting any pain on my pressure points. So me actually laying here right now, like, it does not hurt my hips, like, whatsoever. It's so asleep. soft and comfy, guys. So one cool thing guys about Helix is they offer a 100 night test trial to ensure that you love the mattress. Also too guys, Helix does offer a 10 year warranty on your mattress and they do have financing available with flexible payment plans just for you. If you guys want to get your hands on a Helix mattress, make sure you go to helixsleep.com slash us always and get up to $200 off your Helix mattress. Plus two free pillows. Thank you Helix Sleep for sponsoring this portion of the video. Welcome back to us always. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below, turn on your post notifications. That'll be notified every time we post a new video. 
So we are actually heading to JJ's school right now because my baby boy does have an award today. He is receiving a math award, guys. So if y'all do not know, JJ's a little mathematician. He loves math. That's always been like his passion. Like he's really good with math. We are heading there right now, guys. We are running a little bit late. We thought that it was at 11.30 and it's at 11. So we're trying to like hurry up and just get there. But today's exciting, guys, because we are going to be starting to decorate. Excited, babe? We've been doing a whole lot of shopping, but not really doing shit with our shopping besides throwing it in the garage for now. So I'm really excited to get our house in the Christmas spirit and all that. Stay tuned for that. You have the biggest heart, the greatest attitude, and he's just awesome to have him be. Um, JJ seems to be the man of the hour uh, today. Um, he's been a great addition along with paid and events um, to our school this year. Like, uh, he's kind of similar to Evan. A lot of energy, sometimes got to control it, but like I said, if there's a, any better class to release that energy, it's in PE. So JJ's officially on Thanksgiving break. My baby boy got three awards. Guys, I was only aware that he was getting the math one. Baby boy got honor roll and a PE award. PE teacher said you're the man of the hour. <laughs> Are you excited to be on Thanksgiving break? Yeah. We actually came here to Arizona Cafe to grub because we are hungry. We are excited to eat, guys. I'm hungry. Are you excited to eat? Yeah. You just love looking at yourself, I'm huh? Hungry. Yeah. I'm a Mama, why you got JJ's eyes? <laughs> Hi, Alfalfa. Like a homeless man right now. He was asking for money, right? So we gave him some money right now, and then he started doing small talk to Bo and was like, Hey, so is that a little girl in your arms? And Bo's like, No, that's a boy. And then um, he's like, Well, give him a haircut. And we're like, Zayden's hair is like hella short. <laughs> oh my god, you need a haircut. That's why you don't do drugs. And then Bo tells JJ, That's why you don't do drugs. <laughs> Yeah, so I got huevos rancheros with the chile verde, the extra sauce, rice and beans. Serenity got chicken nuggets and french fries. Wow. JJ got an asada burrito. Dang, deep. And chicken with chile relleno. Busted. We got extra side of the sauce as well. Serenity wants some rice and beans. Sweden, you want rice and beans? All right guys, so we are back home and I already went ahead and started like kind of cleaning up doing some little touches with the Windex on our entertainment center. I do need to move it over to the formal living area and then also the formal dining because a lot of fingerprints are left like when the kids touch it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning up over there that way we can start like stripping out all the old decor that we can start decorating for christmas i already went ahead and took down the decor there i need to organize Aiden's toys possibly take some upstairs because it's looking like a clutter over there but for the most part guys i already went ahead and touched it up with windex so now it's like nice and clean so bo's gonna go ahead and build us our shoe rack we're gonna go ahead and start reorganizing because we are going to be putting our christmas shoe right here so we're gonna have to move stuff around here to fit that Christmas tree. Also too guys, I need to organize stuff over here and then start getting it ready as well for the vibe and the look. I feel like all the stuff that I do have right here still kind of matches the Christmas theme. I already went ahead and switched out our mixed tile while we are doing like the black and white theme. They are all cute guys. And then I also want to decorate this area right here as well. So I'm going to start basically wiping everything down. That way we can go ahead and start decorating. Hopefully we can get a lot of stuff done today if not we'll go ahead and push over for tomorrow but for the most part guys i'll be taking you guys along and showing you guys along as we start decorating guys look at how cute so i had this white vase and i've just been holding on to it and i threw these little trees in there these little stems are like little branches like tree inserts and it came out really cute so we need to figure out how we are going to rearrange everything in here but i do have to take serenity to practice right now so i'm going to be gone for about like an hour and a half and then we'll get back to setting up but for the most part i already went ahead and wiped everything down i still need to wipe down like the stools back there but everything else is pretty wiped down so we can just get straight into decorating as soon as I get back. I was going to also be building that shoe rack or that shoe shelf, so we'll be decorating that as well. All right, guys. So we got some totes in the house. Damon's over here running over Zayden. I put the tree up already. We still gotta open it all up. Huh? Zayden's over there tripping out. Yeah. 
Oh, careful. I'm going to ride this. And then Riz already getting the table set up. So I found these at Target, and they're really cute. I'm going to put a little tree somewhere along these areas. Oh, there's a little tree right And then we got the garlands out already to go right here. So it's a lot of work, guys. But I don't know if we're going to finish today. Hopefully. I doubt we're going to finish today. We'll do the majority. Damn, they have the titties looking. Right. <laughs> so we still have yet to start on the tree because I've been kind of just putting stuff up. I'm literally exhausted. But we're going to go ahead and start decorating the tree here after we get done with dinner. Yes, mommy? Come over here. Where? I know. The snowflakes. It actually looks really, really cute. We put the silver snowflakes literally underneath, and we have the two garlands and the vase. And then you see how like the black and white correlates. So we went ahead and put this candle holder here with the real candle. I don't think we'll light it, but we put like a little garland back there. We have the snowflake with the joy, super cute. And then also we have like the fake candle with the little plaid pine trees or cone trees. And we put little tree fillers in there. Right here, guys, I did hook up the same exact like vase, the little um, tree stems. We have the little reindeer antlers. Antlers, I think that's what it's called. But that looks cute. We'll go ahead and decorate the tree here in a little bit. And then I still have to put the garland up on the stairs. But I feel like we still need more. I feel like it still needs a lot more because I feel like the previous years we've done like a lot of decor. But we also have the stockings hanging here. I don't know if Zayden's going to let us hang it up this year. But for now guys, we went ahead and put these little cones here. Little tree accents. We have a lot more of like the frosted trees and the frosted leaves. This time around, that's what we have so far. I was cooking up dinner right now. I'm like so tired. Maybe we could decorate the tree tomorrow. I'm low-key so tired. My arms already hurt. Yeah, we did a lot. But so far, that's all we have. We might have to go back to Hobby Lobby tomorrow. Try to see what else we can get as little fillers. Normally, I also do have a sign right here. But we don't have one this year, so we need to try to find one. This tree was supposed to be meant to be right there by the front door. But I don't know if I'm going to put some stools or something down here. Because this is actually really cute. I have to play around with it. But I don't know yet, guys. We're still playing around with stuff. So we'll definitely be taking you guys along with us. But we'll continue this vlog tomorrow. Because for now, guys, we are just tired and exhausted. And want to just relax now because it's been a long ass day. But we will see y'all tomorrow. The next day. All right, guys. So today is the next day. We did go to Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, and picked up a few more stuff. Yeah, I went ahead and already put up the garland. That way the kids can start decorating here in a little bit. But why is there no light right here? Like, where's the lights at? Where are the lights at? All right, but Bo already went ahead and put up the tree. We do got to open it up and all that. It has bald spots up there. Me and David got toys. Yeah, you guys got toys, huh? Yeah. Hopefully Zayden lets us decorate because he's literally in everything, but we have so much of everything right here to start decorating our tree, guys. I'm really excited because I feel like the tree is always like the masterpiece of all the decoration. Like, it's like... The full vibe, you know, it's like the cherry on top. So we obviously saved the best for last, guys. I'll go ahead and show you guys later on what we did end up picking up because we bought something for the neck table, kind of kept it with the same vibe and all that. But we're gonna go ahead and prop you guys and you guys can enjoy this little montage of us decorating the tree. Last year I thought about
about how I'm so lucky to have a place that I can come home to. Yes, I am on my way. We'll put our happened to us so all of our footage that we had filmed of us decorating the tree which was about 45 minutes of footage i'm so mad at myself because i'm a freaking idiot like I'm i wouldn't so say mad. you're you're not an idiot babe it happened i it's, feel like it's no, happened but it's happened so much but it's been like the first time that our file like ever gets corrupted i think it corrupted because this was the first footage on the card itself huh I don't know what it was. I remember our footage got corrupted, like, when we lived at the old house, like, one time, and I, like, freaking panicked. But it's only happened, like, one time. But my dumbass needs to get into the habit of letting, like, the um, footage. footage download before I start editing. Because sometimes, like, if a laptop moves a certain way, or, like, it triggers or, like, tweaks the memory card, like, the adapter... It basically ejects it incorrectly and will corrupt the footage. And I'm so guilty because I do that shit so much. And right now we did use like a whole new memory card because obviously we had to buy a new memory card. And it was like the first of the footage of us decorating the entire thing. Luckily, we still had like half of the footage downloaded. But literally from us decorating the tree because we had noticed that's like... Zayden, I think it was Zayden that moved the camera, so I stopped it, and then I fixed it and turned it back on. So from that point on, literally the entire time of us decorating, it was like almost, I want to say like 40 minutes of footage, and on, God. messed up. Not like just the that. Montage, the first montage, literally us doing the walkthrough, showing you guys everything. Showing everything, explaining, all ex up. basically explaining what everything is, and then us closing out the video. It was a good, what, 45 minutes worth of footage down the drain? Babe, it was a whole hour. <laughs> it was a whole hour because it was like 40 minutes because I like... And it is currently... Every year. And it is currently 1.15 in the morning, guys. And yeah. we're trying to edit this video. Well, Maria's trying to edit this video to post basically today, which is Sunday, because we have a busy day. We have people coming over and everything. No, what I'm really... I don't even care about me having to edit it. What I'm like really bummed out about is that... It's tradition for us to decorate the tree, you know, like as a family and like, you know, the kids look back on it. Like right now, like Serenity stuck watching our videos and she loves like, you know, seeing the memories we all create. And it sucks because our footage got corrupted and we have no footage of that now. So I'm really bummed Yeah, out. we have no footage of anybody decorating. <laughs> um, well, we need a camera like literally in the other four mall. Like, yeah, I know. If we would have had a camera over there, we would have been perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, we don't have no footage of the tree being built. Not being built, but being decorated. I'll probably give you guys another tour of everything. My brain is mad. <laughs> yeah, we closed the video out. We did everything. We did, we did a was video, like literally yeah, half we walked, of the video. Yeah, we walked around the house and explained, like, even like on the table, the, mm -hmm. the candle, all you're blocking it, but... Yeah, we've got a reef over there. It really took a lot of me not to freak out because normally if something like this would happen, I'd be freaking crying already. It is what it is. It yeah, I'm not going to beat myself up about it, but I'm actually really bummed out. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, at the end of the day, we have the memories in our head. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't count. Our tree looks amazing. I feel like our house is pretty amazing. We're still debating if we want to decorate like in our little cabinet area up there. Oh, I didn't show this little tree. Hold on. I forgot we have this little section too. So we got a nice little light tree with a little stool right here. I forgot about that one. And then we got all this good stuff here. Zayden though, he likes to grab this one. He likes the acorn. He likes to grab all this stuff. And then we no, got the he loaf. only grabs the acorn and the ornament. 
Well, no, he's grabbed the deer a couple times. He's grabbed like this one a couple times. But overall, I mean, he's pretty good. Yeah, overall, he's pretty good. He's, he listens. <laughs> We're talking about it again because we talked about this when we closed it out. Did we? Yeah. We oh, talked we... about how Zayden like is actually doing pretty good. Yeah, but Zayden is trying to grab like all the little balls and stuff everywhere. But I mean, he's only one, so he's gonna be in there everything. <laughs> I forgot yeah. we did talk about all that. It sucks because we had all of this like pre-recorded already like recorded already for you guys and like the file was freaking lost so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys again so here in our entertainment center we added like little fillers so like in the beginning of the video we showed you guys without those little fillers but we had the reindeers and then like the frosted acorns from last year that we did use and then we also added little tree branches. It kind of just fill in the spot pretty good and it looks a lot more fuller. We do have stockings that we are going to be hanging here in the front of our little fire area. But because Zayden does touch a lot of stuff and then like the stocking holders are weight, it kept falling on the tile. So we're going to wait to use that just for the intro. And then obviously we'll be giving the kids a stocking on Christmas. But already went ahead and showed you guys this little area. Cute little photo area. Something simple here. But we did end up finding this sign. It is in the black and white. And it does say home sweet home. Cute. I feel like we always have to have something like right next to the stairs. Since I'm already here on this side. Sorry guys. I'm freaking tired. Um, but we have like the little trees with the acorns and then we have the black plot going on here I did add this little mat to kind of replicate like snow and then added little bells But we have the cones a tree and then the reindeer and the reindeer is really cute it has a whole ass scarf and all that moving on over here um you guys already showed you guys our little mixed house so this area is kind of already something that i did show you guys but i did add little snowflakes the big snowflakes and then this garland with the acorns and then i wonder why this is turned on let's put it let's go ahead and put it on the timer oh no did it die no way it died. That was brand new batteries. Oh, there. I thought you were talking about the camera. I was like, wow. <laughs> and then right here in the dining table, the formal dining table, the only thing I added was a Merry Christmas. So a lot of stuff was still with like the snowflakes and this Merry Christmas we had bought when we went shopping at Hobby Lobby, but it was still like stuck in the bags with the ornaments. So when we pulled out everything to decorate the tree. We found those, so we went ahead and added them. We went ahead also and decorated the garland. So our garland is just like a plain green. And then normally we will like to like decorate it based on the color theme that we go with. So we did decorate it and it was cute because Damien and Serenity did help decorate it. Damien kind of gave up on us after we got done with the tree. But Serenity did stay to help me decorate all this. This kind of just stayed the same. And then this is what our tree is looking like. I feel like we went with a full looking tree this time around just because we wanted the tree to look super, super, super full. We literally had like a shit ton of different type of ornaments. I want to say that we probably had like 15 to 20 different type of ornaments. It's freaking a lot. We still have to put our star, which we'll probably use the one that we used last year because it is like silver with white. And I feel like it'll match the tree perfectly. And then we're here for our little dining area, like our nook area. We did want to keep it really simple. So we did get like a wreath and then we put like a white candle holder and then like an LED light that is also set on a timer. And all of this is frosted guys. So it matches the vibe pretty good. Since we've been on YouTube, we've always had us decorating the tree with the kids every single year, except this year. We did it. We did it, but you know, like every year we have it on YouTube. And this is literally our fifth year. Comment down below what you guys are decorating, what color scheme you guys are going with. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed what was left of this video. <laughs> I know it sucks, guys. But also too, guys, we did add some new items to our merch. See, I showed you guys too. <laughs> we got some new merch, guys. We got some new sweaters. Sweatpants. We actually do got some new crop sweaters. Yeah, I showed you I guys the set, joggers we, that I was wearing <laughs> earlier, but I don't have it on. No we said some. I don't have it on no more because I obviously took a shower and all that. But we said some other stuff too. But just click, <laughs> click the link, guys, and check out our website. You guys want to cop some merch? It is Christmas time, 
And it is going to be winter time, and y'all know we got the nice sweaters, and they're very comfortable. So make sure to check it out. Yes, but don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. Also, too, if you haven't already, make sure to follow us on all social media. Our handles are listed down below. But before we do completely end today's video, our post of key shout out goes to. It goes to Mariah Munoz. Shout out to you. And if you guys do want a future post of key shout out, all you have to do is. Subscribe to our channel, turn your post notification on, hit the little bell, bing, and comment some sort of. We love you guys, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Deuces. As always. Hey, look. We was doing good, now we doing better. This love I got for you too much, I can't measure. New cars, new crib, we look good together. It's us always, but I'm thinking us forever. Girl, you got what I need. Racing for your love, I'm going high speed. I can put you on, can play for my team. Once you get a taste, you tell me don't.